Hi guys, Saha, this is Shiva Reddy. Welcome to Core Java Tutorials. In this session, I will explain the concept of two string method in Java. If you want to represent any object as a string, then you need to overwrite two string method. This is the one of the method of object class. If you don't represent any two string method, by default, whatever the implementation of object uh, class, that way we can represent. So I am going to explain this concept using an example. So let us go ahead and create a class in Eclipse. I am uh, creating a class as employee and I would like to have a main method in this class. So click finish. Here for the employee class I am declaring two method uh, two member uh, variables that is in uh, private int employee id and uh, private string emp employee name now i am going to create a constructor constructor so let us go ahead and create a constructor Okay, with the employee ID and string name, I am creating a constructor. Okay. Now what I am doing is, I am going to create an object for the employee class, and I am trying to print that object. So employee emp1 equal to new employee. I am giving employee ID as a one not phone and name as Shiva. And uh, I am creating another uh, employee object also. Employee emp2 equal to new employee of new employee of 102 and I am giving his uh, name uh, this one I am giving as a ready. Now I am trying to print these values. So system dot out dot system dot out dot print ln of emp1 and uh, system dot out dot print ln emp2. Now when I run this program, you will see output as output as uh, with the some object representation you are going to get it. See, it is saying that com dot uh, siva java techie dot core java dot employee at the rate of some uh, value it is printing. This is, but what my intention is, I am expecting the values of employee ID and employee name need to be displayed here instead of this uh, this object representation. This happens because if you don't override any two string method in your class then by default implementation of the uh, two string method in object class it invokes and it is going to print the uh, value of the object it is like class name at the rate of and it is a hexadecimal representation of the hash code okay so as per the java docs if you go to the java docs if you see Two string method returns a string representation of the object. How it is going to return the object if you don't provide any implementation is it is going to get the class name at the rate and hexadecimal representation of the hash code. So if you don't provide any implementation for your class then by default this representative uh, this string representation it is going to print. So that is the reason we recommended that we uh, we recommended that subclass always override this two string functionality so that it will rep it will print the correct uh, string representation of the object so what i am going to do here is public string i am going to override this two string method now so what i am doing here is return uh, directly I am giving as a employee ID and concatenating with EMP 
name okay so this is the override method of object class so object by default have a two string representation now we are going to override that fun uh, that uh, method and we are giving our own representation uh, our own string representation of the object when you now run this program you will see the output as 101 shiva and 102 ready because now the uh, the jvm will look for the two string override method and whatever the whatever the uh, implementation we do in the two string method that actually written as a object so the thing is like two string method represent string representational uh, uh, representation of the object if you don't provide any implementation for the two string by default the object uh, implement uh, the, the by default implementation of the two string method in object class it is going to invoke whenever it invokes the default uh, two string method it is going to uh, give the res result as class name at the rate of hexadecimal representation of the hash code but if you override the functional uh, if you override the two string method whatever the implementation you are doing in the two string that representation actually it is going to print hope this concept is clear if you have any questions please comment on my youtube video thanks for watching